Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Human beings are naturally enemies of what they are ignorant of. And this ignorance leads to assumptions. And these assumptions can either be closer to the truth or flat out lies. When you are ignorant or know little or nothing about something, you tend to invent facts and figures about that thing. And when you do that, you might either be closer to the truth or you are flat out wrong. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, due to the, our nature as human beings, describe themselves so much in the Quran with beautiful names and attributes. Allah says, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَدْعُوهُ بِهَا he says to him belongs the most beautiful of names, Fadaruhu Biha. He made this so that we can know who he really is. He is Allah, our creator. He is Allah, our creator. He is our Rabb, our fashioner. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls himself, calls himself a Razak. He is the one that provides, that sustains. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that created you and after creating you, created sustenance for you to live, to survive. So if you want any means of sustenance, Call upon Allah, not upon anything else other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have no excuse. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described himself with these beautiful names and attributes. So, we have to call upon him whenever we need any sustenance. He describes himself as Al-Wahhab, the giver of gifts, the bestower. If you want anything from, from anything, if you want anything, not anything, just call on Al-Wahhab. He's the one that can bestow it upon you. Not any entity, not any deity. Allah is the only one that can do that for you. Al Wahhab. He is the Al Fatah. He is the one that opens doors. Doors that are seems to be after so I've been closed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one that can open it. If you want any op door to be opened for you, doors that have seemed to have been closed, call upon Al-Fatah. Call upon him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes himself as Al-Ali. He's the one that supersedes, that rise above all things. If you want to also stand tall among human beings, in this world and the year after, believe in Al-Ali. Call upon him, not upon something else. That is why uh, that is one of the benefits of uh, Tawheed al Asma wa Sifat. Believe in Allah's names and attributes. When you do that, you are practicing it, all these names and attributes. It will move you closer to Allah and send you away from shirk. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the understanding of his names and attributes and make us practice it and make us be one of his chosen servants on the day of resurrection. In no ala dhalika qadeel wa bihijabika jadeel. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.